Live from Windsor, Ontario, Canada, the north, uh, Isaiah 41 predicted the messenger would be from the north. What messenger? The messenger that prepares the way of the Lord and by giving the message to Israel that they have inherited all mankind, Isaiah 54. Same messenger as Malachi 3.1 that prepares the Lord's way by his message. He is the sender of his message. He is the writer of his message. He is the um, mediator of his message. And what is his message? The message that will be considered according to the Bible. It is written in Jeremiah 30, 31, that it shall be considered in the latter days this. The Lord saying, just as Jeremiah 1, 10, Haggai 2, 2 predicted, God's word coming forth anew, Daniel 12, 9, opening again, only closed until the time of the end. Open again, new because he is saying to all people, to all mankind, Jeremiah 32, 27, I'm the Lord God of all mankind. I will be your God, you will be my people. I will forgive your iniquity and I shall never remember it. And that gets rid of Satan for a thousand years. It will be considered in the, la the latter days. That is why this is the uh, channel of Zechariah 4's candlestick going off every day been doing that for three months and it's broken I, I never even could turn it on anymore but it comes on by itself exactly at the same time every day so it can be filmed it's just a sign there's got to be some reason for it I don't know what it is because uh, there's no nothing I've done to that thing it's just a broken uh, candlestick two dollars from a dollar store and um, only way to turn it on or off is click on click off and it, it turns itself on. So it came to pass that uh, it came time for another healing service all over Zion and they were coming and they had their hands open and they were grabbing at love wherever it was and it was Jesus standing in front of them. So may the Holy Spirit shine greatly upon you, the resplendence of his blessing. May it come forth uh, as a, a, a great flood of his love, his adoration, benevolence, as you open up your heart to accept his exaltation. For as we exalt his love within us, because all who love are born of God and know God, because God is love, God is living in all people who love, because that love is God. So let him shine his light brightly through you and be not in the realm of the walking dead with love that has waxed cold become as but a noun not moving stagnant as people turn and walk on the road of perishing blasphemy of the holy spirit letting your love light go out so it came to pass that it was time for another mighty uh, healing service. And there was hundreds of sick from all over, and they came unto the Lord. And, you know, he healed them all in most cases. And he had the same philosophy as uh, Gretzky in Canada, Wayne. Wayne says, you miss 100% of all the shots that you do not take. Every shot that Christ could take, he took, and he had excellent aim, and his his healing mark it was like he was throwing a javelin of of um, wellness into people's midst, and it would explode because he spoke the word, and people's faith were moving in accordance with his word of faith. And so it came to pass that the word was out, that God's living word was healing everyone that came unto him. So the race was on. Man, people from all over Zion, they were coming. As soon as they heard, it was like a guarantee. 
um, they didn't have much to think about because in many cases these people were hopeless and there was no physician cure for them. So they were off to see the physician of physicians, the mirror image of Jehovah Rapha, our healer, and um, his express image. And as the, the Lord stretched out his mighty hand, his power was most dynamic, having, having the energy of, of a nuclear fission. And uh, his touch was uh, electric and piercing, and it would just vibrate through anything ahead of it. And nor did even the smallest germs or the biggest demons stand even a remote chance of a, a snowball in hell if they were caught in the Lord's overflowing presence that was aflame with his mercy and compassion and sympathy and empathy for all who had fallen. Many cases it was of, uh, caused from their own doing, but it was time for f freedom. So it came to pass that palsy in the land of Israel soon became a forgotten thing. Strokes started to become a distant memory in, uh, instantaneously as people that couldn't even talk were able to, to converse with the best of them. And all manner of uh, sexually transmitted diseases were overshadowed by the brightness of our Lord of Lords most marvelous first coming for he is was and always shall be our majesty of majesties Emmanuel God in the flesh with us again soon and arthritis was also shouted down by Christ's very loud radiance of the glory of his own Shekinah glory that was before him before the beginning as he was the Alpha and the Omega the beginning and the end and therefore his most resplendent love and the great illumination of his adoration and the, the brilliancy of his charity and his beneficence was purest magnificence as that hero of heroes stood and uh, pre pressed in towards pushing out goodwill all across the land. And it came to pass that even withered legs and feet were also straight away made whole. And some of the most wacky demoniacs were uh, instantly being set free from their mental illnesses and uh, psychoses caused by screaming demons, making them into fools. And they had been caged up like beasts and much deliverance was then flowing by God's word of healing. For he was, is, and always shall be the son of righteousness, arising with healing in his wings by the holiest fluttering, whitest wings of our most eagle regal of the eons, who is our dove of love, one and the same. And therefore all of those captives of our fallen world, world uh, the hurt, the, 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 those being pained, and those uh, desperate for freedom, they were all to be set free by the most marvelous light of Christ's shiniest glittering of his own spirit coming through to heal all that could be. And it came to pass a little later that night, uh, many of them went out and behold, they brought Jesus a dumb man named Shiloh who was possessed with yet another devil. And when that devil was cast out, that former dumb man then spoke as if he had always been a learned man, and it turned out he had been. He uh, had been well taught, actually he was raised up in synagogue. But uh, he bowed down unto the Lord Jesus, he sees you with Jesus, for he realized that as the carpenter of the ages, everything before him was as a nail, and his word was the hammer that could prove evermore that uh, the clouds are but dust under his feet and he would have his way in any storm, even if it was a storm of ignorance, which is uh, the grossest darkness of all. And there is really no darkness 
but ignorance alone. So he said unto the crowd, I shall be a priest of Jehovah, and unto him alone shall I render priestly service, and to him I shall always offer the living sacrifice of his thought. For his thought is not like the thoughts of the world, nor the thoughts of flesh, nor like them that serve carnally. Know also that he alone is the deliverer of men from evil, his love that casts out all fear. And because of his mercy over me, I shall always offer him a living sacrifice of walking in his righteousness as his mirror image proclaimed the Lord of always. And then Christ said, And he shall give unto me much purity of my heart, and my, by my lips, by way of discipline, and the birthright. So he said, I proclaim loudly to everyone here and far beyond. Every knee shall bow unto him alone, for his name is love, and those who love are born of God and know him because he is named love. First John 4, 7, capital L. And every knee shall bow, and every tongue shall confess love. So the Lord said, I now declare that all should present themselves before Jehovah Nisi, the banner of great adoration over all of mankind, and uh, to, that people should all walk blamelessly as Jesu does. So let your souls do violence, let it not do violence to your hearts, spoke the man that healed the, the sick and stilled the waters, the man from Galilee. And he said, nor should your hearts ever do bitter things unto your soul. And then it came about that the multitude then marveled, for he was putting the marvel in all things marvelous, and the awe in awesomeness. And those who were discerning amongst those hearing that master, the golden orator speak, they could see ahead beyond the veil just enough to know that he was also putting all of the awe in awesome and the special in the specialness of the road that he was walking. So it came about that they neither had seen nor heard any such wisdom as he was giving them all throughout the land of Israel. But once again, bad news. Once again, there was Pharisees standing around vipers of religion who had the form of godliness but denied the power of love. Loveless are many religious people and shallow as a glass of water who can never embrace God's great ocean of adoration and benevolence that he wants to pour out as a whirlwind of his very best magnificence and beneficence, magnificence and all the efficience that I could even uh, imagine. And then some, it's unfathomable. Everything about his love is unfathomable, deeper than deep. But the good news is he is calling deep unto deep. So he's calling his heart of hearts unto your heart of hearts that you should be able to arise and likewise have the power to heal or cast out devils. But they accused him of healing the sick by the power of Satan, which was re crazy, is totally insane. But he knew the truth, and the truth was that the resplendence of the healing power that was going before him, the, the restoration that he would bring, that it was flowing as a mighty river, much more powerful than the Nile, and the Amazon all together. And he foresaw that in the latter days of his latter day messenger who would come to prepare his way, that he would feed the master's household of meat while the master was away. Exactly uh, what Christ had stated in Matthew 24 of his end time messenger who would restore all things by his kingdom age covenant. And now all faith on earth is obsolete now that the covenant of Hebrews 8 
is uh, has been given. That is what Paul wrote in Hebrews 8. He, he used the word obsolete when the Kingdom Age covenant came. And all that was happening then was preparatory for these days of the movement of his spirit of prophecy because the Lord would come to say unto all that God's mercy endures forever and he says I will return my terrifying anger and stop the fast rising great tribulation if people will arise in the brotherhood of love what he prayed for in Gethsemane we need to arise because it will heal the land and then the glory of the Lord shall cover the waters and the earth as waters cover the sea it'll cover this earth as sand covering the desolate deserts it'll cover this earth as as snow covers the Himalayas it's white on uh, rice time for his love in motion as a verb moving forward passionately as a child he says in his word he says, woe unto those that are uh, lukewarm. He'll spit them out of his mouth. He'd rather have them cold than lukewarm. How can you be lukewarm about the purest love imaginable? You're either going to be hot or you're going to be cold, but don't be lukewarm. And if it's just lukewarm, you're dying. Your, your love is dying. Stir it up, press together, overflowing unto the abundance of the living cornucopia that came from Christ's rod of his mouth. And don't think for a second that his tongue is not so razor sharp that it can't cut your soul right out of your spirit and vice versa, whatever he wants to do, for he shall have his way. So praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. And the ammunition is his word, a flame, a new to be considered in the latter days because the truth is God always addressed the kingdom age eternal covenant that has never been given until now in these latter days and if it had not been given by the foretold end time messenger of Isaiah 41 from Canada from the north this has been preached from the beginning Genesis 49 12 and that's what Isaiah 41 says I am the one whose eyes are uh, red of uh, a <laughs> little legal THC here in Canada, red and dull of wine, the alcoholic of Habakkuk 2. Even though my, my uh, I've been transgressed by wine, the just will live by my faith. I am the um, uh, incorrigible one of Zechariah 3. I was a glue sniffer. But man, the glory that the Lord has poured upon me by his breath the glory that is ahead we will have no worry but we must stand together it is time to unite in the in, 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 in a, a walk of the faith of love moving forward and because there is absolutely no hurts upon this earth that the Lord God will not heal now right now it started